Did you know that buying the fastest, highest performance Ethernet cables on the market is probably a bad idea? The cables I'm talking about are Category 8, or just Cat 8 for short. It's quite easy to buy them online, but you'll typically pay a premium for it compared to more common Cat 5e and Cat 6 cables. But that's fine, because according to Amazon listings, these cables are great for gaming and streaming, right? Mm, yeah, you really should take pause before dropping extra money on Cat 8 just because it's the newest, fastest thing out there. The most obvious reason is simply because there isn't really a point to Cat 8 for most home users. Cat 8 tops out at 40 gigabits per second, which is seriously impressive. All other things being equal, that's fast enough to download a 50 gigabyte Steam game in just 10 seconds. But the fastest home internet connection in the US right now is only eight gigabits, and average speeds are far lower than that. You'll also need equipment at home that can actually take advantage of those higher speeds. Many computers still only come with one gigabit ethernet ports, and although you can certainly buy ethernet adapters that support higher speeds, you'll pay more and more money the higher up the ladder you go. A 40 gigabit network card can set you back many hundreds of dollars, and models that are available now don't even support Cat8 ethernet cables. They instead use a different connector called QSFP+, which is typically used with fiber optic or twin axial cables. There are adapters you can use, but none of them seem to support the full 40 gig speed over a standard ethernet connection. And unless you're often moving huge amounts of data around your internal home network, you're never even going to get close to using all that bandwidth. However, there's another really important reason you might not want to splurge on Cat8, and we'll tell you what that is right after we thank the sponsor of this video, Delete Me. Okay, here's an issue. Your personal info floating around online without your say-so. That's totally not cool. Well, Delete Me thinks it's downright wrong. No one wants scammers blowing up your phone with robocalls and sketchy emails, and Delete Me's here to save the day. Manually removing all your accounts from the web is tedious, but Delete Me's software and expert squad can wipe out that info in a jiffy. On average, they're scrapping over 2,000 pieces of data for customers in their first two years, and that's some serious cleanup. So if you're tired of your personal info playing hide and seek online, go to joindeleteme.com slash techwiki and use code techwiki for a sweet 20% off. Category 8 cables are typically thicker and stiffer than other Ethernet cables you're probably used to. Although this sounds like it could be a good thing in terms of durability, it actually makes the cables harder to bend, which means they're more difficult to route around objects. But even if you're doing a short, straight cable run, there have been a good number of anecdotal reports of Cat8 cables not working very well with home networking equipment, with users complaining of poor performance, even though the cables are theoretically compatible with mainstream routers, PCs, and consoles. Because the cables themselves are larger, more rigid, and require shielding. Terminating them, that is correctly attaching a connector so you can actually plug them into something, is significantly more difficult than with a more run-of-the-mill ethernet cable. This is obviously an issue for people buying bulk cable and terminating the cables themselves, but it's also an issue for folks who are just buying plug-and-play Cat8 cables online. A good number of, quote, Cat8 cables being marketed towards consumers for relatively low prices are simply not being built to the actual Category 8 specification, meaning that problems people are reporting from trying to use them at home are likely the result of fake Cat8 cables, whether it's because they just aren't being constructed well due to either bad termination or some other manufacturing issue, or because they're straight up mislabeled on purpose as part of a scam. So what kind of cable should you be buying? Depending on how fast you need your connection to be and how long a cable run you need, you should be buying either Cat5e 6 or 6a. Just have a look at this chart for details. We all love a good chart. And I love a good viewer who watches all the way to the end of the video. Good viewer. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you like that, you can like the video. If you disliked it, dislike the video. Check out our other videos, comment with video suggestions in the comments below, which is where the comments are. And don't forget to subscribe and follow. I'm a little flustered now. <laughs>